everybody, it's Haley. Um, today is my two month update for my deployment diaries and I just wanted to kind of update y'all on what's going on in my life, how the deployment is going and everything like that. And for anyone that's kind of new to this or just watching randomly um, my video or is new, just subscribe to my channel, I basically have a series right now on my channel that's dedicated to my husband's deployment and basically like I'm doing a month by month update just what's going on in my life and you know my husband and just how I'm dealing with things and just things like that um I personally find these videos really helpful I've watched many military wives here on YouTube um about you know deployment or just random stuff about the military that's been actually very beneficial to me and helped me a lot and I definitely want to do more military related things um on YouTube if I can so I just want to do this because it kind of makes me feel good to talk about things on camera I don't know why um, I know I don't even have a lot of subscribers, but um, it just helps to kind of get it out and talk about it to random people. I mean, I don't know, but it's just helpful for me, and it's just something that I like to do, and I, I'm really, I feel strongly about this um, series, and I just hope that everyone enjoys it, and if you don't, just definitely just exit out right now, because it's going to be me rambling and talking about my life, so <laughs> here we go. So this month has been kind of crazy. Um... The first, I, it's definitely better than the first month. Um, I feel like I've done a lot better. I've adjusted, um, to, you know, being without him and dealing with daily stuff. And if my dog is, like, in the video, I'm really sorry, but she's about to work. Um, so if I, I was going to say, she's biting on my wedding ring. Oh, my gosh. So it's been pretty crazy. Um, basically, I haven't had much going on. My parents came at the beginning of the second month so that was um fun and then it kind of the the week after they left was really difficult for me um I haven't I don't see my parents very often at all I see them about twice a year um so it was difficult for me my mom to be here and stay with me and you know I, I was getting used to them here and then they left so it was kind of hard for me to deal with after that it kind of it made me feel um, very lonely, but I kind of got over that after a while, like after a week they left, after that week, that whole week, like that second week they were gone. Um, I kind of just got myself back up, and I'm doing really well. Um, basically, I've just been like spending time with my, like with my job, obviously, and then I, I'm just, I've always been really into working out and staying healthy and stuff. Um, I was a swimmer in college, so I've always had like a healthy lifestyle, but I just got into um, working out uh, at this CrossFit gym. I don't know if you all know what CrossFit is. Just like this kind of insane workout with weights and there's like fundamental exercises. You can Google it. Like a million things will come up. But it's an amazing um, program and I found this really good gym. So I've been going to that like about three to four times a week. And it's like the most insane workout but it's an amazing thing and it makes me feel so good. and. It's been really helping. It helped me, like, get all, I go to work, and then I'll go work out usually, <laughs> except on, like, Saturdays. I do it Saturday morning, so I usually don't work on Saturdays, but it's just an amazing thing, and I've been, like, eating really healthy, and it's just making me feel so good about myself, and it just definitely helps. Working out is really good, I think, for going through a deployment for somebody, because it makes me, it's like a stress reliever, and it just helps it so much. It helps me sleep better at night. It just helps it makes me feel so much better, have so much more energy, and I've, as I said, I've always been really um, into, like, you know, exercising and stuff, but I used to just walk my dogs or, like, go on a run every, once a week. I wasn't ever, like, something on a day-to-day -day basis, and I felt like this is really good for me. It just helps so much, and I'm just really excited about um, the journey that I'm started on this um, CrossFit gym because it's amazing, and I'm just and my husband does it as well, so it's pretty exci he's pretty excited for me. He was the one that kind of pushed me into doing it. Um, I was kind of nervous because it is kind of an intense workout, but so far so good. And, of course, my body is super sore, but um, they say it takes you like a month to get used to it. So I'll update you all again on um, next month to see where I'm at with that. But so let's see. Basically, I've just been hanging out with friends. I have actually became really close with a few wives um, that are actually, their husbands are deployed with Tony, and so I didn't really know them that well before, but I've gotten really close with them, so it's really awesome how you can bond with someone through your husband leaving, um, it's just crazy, um, 
but yeah, they're really great friends, and I'm really thankful to them. They just have really helped me through um, this deployment so far, and it's kind of, it's nice to have someone to relate to. Like, it's nice to relate to other military wives, but when you're relating to someone that is going through the exact same thing you are, it's so great to just have someone to vent to or talk to and everything like that. Um, my puppy that uh, you've seen in my videos before, my chocolate lab, I have two dogs, but I have a five-month-old puppy, um, and then my other dog is a greyhound. They keep me really busy, um, especially the puppy. She's teething. She's crazy, and um, so she keeps me really busy, and so does my other dog, so that's really good. Um, I like taking them to the park and stuff on, like, Sundays and just exercising them and that sort of thing, so that takes up a lot of my time. I'm also really into Pinterest. I don't know if everyone, everyone probably knows what Pinterest is, but basically if you don't know, you like pin, there's like, it's a website that you can join. I think you have to be added to, if someone's a member, they can add you or you can get on a waiting list or something. I don't know, I had a friend that just added me, so I got on it, but um, my dog wants to play with her toy with me. Um, but basically you pin things to your own little board and it has like all sorts of things that people post on there, like recipes. Um, fashion, outfits, nail polish, um, home decor. I'm really, really into making the like do-it-yourself projects that are on there and that has been taking up a lot of my time on like the weekends. Um, just making like really artsy fun projects around the house and everything like that. So that's awesome. You should definitely check out Pinterest if you haven't. But I'm sure everyone is. It's been around for a while. <laughs> but not a while, not like a long time, but for I guess like the last year or so. But it is really awesome, and that I just love. I'm, I've never really been an artsy person, but the projects are just really simple and easy, and they kind of give you directions on how to do them, so that's how I have done them. Um, what else was I going to say? I am getting a haircut. It's kind of random, not even related, but I'm getting a haircut this weekend. I haven't gotten my haircut since, like, January, so really excited about that. I'm not cutting much, much off. I think I'm just going to cut, like, an inch or two off, but I just have really dead ends. It's really time to get a haircut, so I know my hair will feel a lot, like, lighter, and I have really thick hair, so it's going to feel good. But, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, basically, this deployment so far, I feel like it's gone really well. I feel like I've handled it really well, and I'm pretty proud of myself. Um, I know there's bad days, of course, but at this point, I think I'm kind of numb to it, and once I make next month, up to next month, the third month, which is that, like, third month, um, I think I'll be in a really great place. Right now I think I'm in a good place, but then I'll think I'll be in a great place. I'm just kind of numb to the situation. I'm dealing with it, and you know, what can you do? Some people say to me, I don't know how you do it. You know, anyone can do it. Um, I love my husband regardless if he's in the military or not, but it's just something that when you marry someone in the military, that's something that you sign up for. Um, it's something that, of course, you're not prepared for at all. I'm not prepared for it, but it's something that you just kind of deal with on when it comes, you know? Like, no one is going to be happy all the time during deployment or be able to handle it perfectly, you know? Everyone has their ups and downs, but it is what it is, and I'm just doing really well. I just wanted to update y'all, and I will talk to y'all guys later. Bye!